Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, my name is LJ and you're watching No Clutch Garage. We're gonna look at something that I got in the mail, something that I've been looking for for a while and I hadn't really seen a solution for it yet. And that is a rear differential brace. Now I did find the rear differential brace a while back, but those were made in Germany and they weren't really, the design didn't look too good or not something that I was looking for. Uh, as far as how sturdy it was going to be. So I decided to just wait a little longer. So I started looking all over the internet and it turns out that Burger Motorsports had what I needed. And I knew that they had something for the E90 chassis. And it turns out they have something for the F chassis also. So I went ahead and contacted Terry, asked him if he, uh, he had a part. And uh, at first I didn't see the part and then he sent me a link and it was there. So we were able to get a brace for the F30. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up. We're gonna look at it and we're gonna talk about why I want this mod. A lot of people don't know about this mod and that's especially true for those that aren't really chasing big power. But at a certain point, you have to get a differential brace and you have to start upgrading your drivetrain, period. So I went ahead and looked for that, given that I don't believe, or at least I haven't gotten a conclusive answer as to whether I can get an LSD for my car because it is X drive. So until I can answer that and until I can actually afford it, I'm gonna go with this brace, which should help with some of my issues currently. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take the wrapper off. And now it's gonna be time to open it. All right, now let's see what's in here. Paper. So we got the hardware right here. And here is the actual brace. And it's got some weight to it. It really does look like it's really, really heavy duty. And I like this reinforcement bar right here. So obviously this would go to the rear of the differential and then that would go to the subframe and you would have a bit more rigidity in the rear differential. Now, why is this important? Well, this is important for a few reasons. Most of the cars that are used for drag racing or anything like that, of course, if they're solely drag racing cars, they will have over-engineered parts that will make sure the suspension is dialed in exactly for that. But you know, for a street car, a lot of street cars don't really go to that extent. You know, especially if you're just doing some light street racing. Uh, the brace is actually gonna hold the differential in place and it's gonna help there be less torsion. Anytime you apply torque, through the drive shaft and ultimately through the differential, there's gonna be some sort of torsion, right? And that is going to affect how you get off the line and how much traction you have off the line. So you want to mitigate that by keeping that whole rear end as stiff as possible. So ultimately what these braces do is it's gonna tighten the chassis, right? So it's gonna make sure that everything is stiffer it's gonna get it's gonna reduce wheel hop substantially a lot of people that have wheel hop especially on launches typically ha don't have an lsd for one and have a really loose rear end so so you really want to reduce wheel hop because it's going to reduce your launch times it's going to reduce the bearing load so that way it there's going to be less stress on all the parts period the one thing that i do like about this particular brace and I've seen other designs but these in particular it's it's, a, it's one solid piece right so there are going to be less moving parts which means that ultimately everything is going to be stiffer for me I have an all-wheel drive vehicle so I don't tend to have many traction issues but I do feel that as I have more power as I add more power to the car I tend to have more traction issues uh, particularly all wheel spinning, which is going to be normal unless I'm on a prepped surface. But also my rear end feels a lot more loose, kind of like a, a rear wheel drive vehicle. And that's uh, something that I want to mitigate because I really, really loved how my car just launched off the line when I was just stage two, but now with a big turbo 
it's a lot more power going through the transmission and the drive shaft, the differentials, and ultimately to the wheels. So the rear end of your vehicle is gonna feel a lot tighter. And if you've raced before, you definitely know what I mean. And what I care about the most is that I have really solid launches. My car has pretty much become known because of that, because of the ability to get off the line and actually beat expectations, right? So I want to continue that, but I want to do things right. You know, I'm tired of experimenting and that's just the honest truth. I'm all for trying new products and stuff like that, but this setback has really taught me that I really should just hunker down and research more on the parts and my build and try to build the car that I want the best way possible. I will be making another video that will show the installation. And as you guys know by now, I do have my car at the shop, so I could install it now, but I'd rather not. I'd rather just wait until I get my car back and then do the installation. I will say that this mod is a must if you want consistency. And that's what I'm about. I love consistency regardless of how fast or how slow I am. I would rather be consistent doing one thing over and over again than, you know, have mixed results. The last thing I want, for example, is to run a quarter mile, you know, let's say I run a quarter mile in 11 seconds and the next thing I run it in 11.5 seconds, but I don't wanna have such a discrepancy between my time. So 11, 11, one, 10, nine, you know, I, I'd be okay with that. But I will give you guys my thoughts on this part once I install it on my installation and review video. You know that with anything that I use, I will give you my real opinion. I never try to sugarcoat anything. I don't owe anything to anyone. I'm not endorsed by any of these companies. And so if I have a part that I don't like, then I will say I don't like it. So far, all the companies that I've dealt with are very good companies. And that's in part because I'm picky with who I deal with. But anyway, guys, this has been the unboxing of the rear differential brace for the F chassis. I will have the installation and review video coming as soon as my car is out of the shop, I promise. But as always, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for your support. This channel is growing a lot faster than I anticipated, especially in the last couple weeks. And I just want to thank you guys for that, for caring about what I have to say about my opinions, about the growth of my channel and my build. And I just really appreciate that. As always, guys, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave those questions in the comment section down below and I will be sure to answer them. And if I don't answer them, just ask me again. Follow me on Instagram at NoClutchGarage and I will talk to you next video.